Welcome back. So uh, another hurdle that I've had to jump is that I could not figure out how to get isotope and um, my contact uh, plugins to show up on Mixbus. So uh, it took me all last night and today to figure it out. But basically uh, you have to change the route. So I want to show this to people who are struggling with the same thing as well as those that uh, have never uh, seen me do this uh, and worked with me before. Basically, like an old PC, you know, we used to have to go know our routes, basically. So you'd go to your C drive and to your program files. You check out uh, the Steinberg uh, VSTs. There they all are. Those are the ones that I downloaded. I just started with the vinyl, um, but there's a ton of other free ones that I've installed. Um, and then two, they're, they're in the isotope folder. Um, they're in the... Native Instruments folder. Here's all my VST plugins for guitar rig, contact, all of it. So to make it so that Mixbus could find them, because that was the problem, I had to go edit, preferences, and then down to where it says plugins. And uh, I tried first doing just a straight scan for plugins, but that didn't work. So I decided to actually change the paths where it looks for files. It was automatically looking for them in a documents folder that didn't exist. So then I just basically uh, said that I would edit it and then I could add my own. And so through that I went to the program files, there's my native instruments, there's my Steinberg plugins which is all my isotope stuff. And once I did a scan, uh, reset everything and they popped up. So when I go to add plugins, they're all here. And for an example, there's my isotope vinyl. Any of the other ones that I added, they're here now. So uh, I got the vinyl. I did kind of a little test run just to see if uh, they worked. And I had a license key for isotope vinyl because it's free with a license key. And this plugin is really cool because it basically simulates a record player. You can change the year, you can change the speed, you can, if you hit this spin down button, it makes it so that the record player basically like shuts off, but the audio is still on. Um, you can change the warp model if you're warping it. Um, you have mechanical noise, you have wear, electrical noise, dust, scratch. You can change the number of scratches uh, per run and then uh, what percentage of it you want it in, which is like how much it is total, and then you fade it in with however much you want. And then you've gotten overall input gain and output gain. So I'm just gonna loop that, uh, that same pad that I had and uh, give you guys a little taste of what that plugin sounds like.
So there you have it. Um, successfully not only figured out how to get VSTs to work, but also uh, now I have isotope vinyl to work with and about 5 million others. So uh, yeah, switching to PC and uh, working with Mixbus so far has uh, given me a lot to learn and a lot to play with. So thanks for tuning in.